this is absolutely an upgrade to the recipe I shared before um, about three years ago when this channel had just begun. I went to the store to stock up on groceries and I found some fresh sweet potato leaves. So here we are, let's do it friends. We start with some boneless beef shank followed by beef tripe love the texture this offers as well as some parboiled beef tendon cut into small pieces let's not forget our smoked fish and then we season with some salt and crushed black pepper we also add our ginger paste garlic paste scotch bonnet chili minced as well as some thinly sliced onion now here is a very important important ingredient known as okri which is fermented sesame seeds that have also been roasted in this banana leaf it's crazy good umami offering ingredients add just a tad bit of water and also your all-purpose seasoning or you can use a chicken or beef bouillon now I'm going to add my oil right now and yes I am using palm oil it is the most preferred oil in cooking this stew in my opinion palm oil is a necessary ingredient in this recipe because it brings the authentic taste so this recipe is an upgrade that preparation also has become streamlined that's why everything is in the pot including the oil which is going to infuse its nutty flavor into the meat, everything is going to become one and it's going to happen so fast. You're going to enjoy preparing this dish because it is going to cook faster than usual. So here are the sweet potato leaves. You can find them fresh like this at most oriental grocery stores. So I am picking the leaves, including the tender stalks from the woody part all right so i tear it and wherever it tears is the starting point of the tenderness and then i place them into a, a tight bunch and start trimming them into very thin slices right into the bowl when i previously prepared this in the uh, recipe i shared years ago I found out that the way I prepped the leaves was the wrong way. So yes, the corrections have been made this time around as well. So the pot has been on the stove for 35 minutes and the meat has tenderized beautifully. I am now adding the leaves to it. And when the leaves go in there, I'm going to continue to cook an extra 20 to 25 minutes and everything is going to become perfectly tender and ready to serve. And this goes so well with rice, steamed rice, white rice. Any long grain will work here and it is so, so enjoyable, friends. This is one of my favorite stews ever. I'm really grateful to my Sierra Leonean friends, Rakiatu Aisatu, for teaching me how to prepare this dish. Love it. Now, Ogri, uh, the recipe has been shared on this channel already, the Ogri I used. So check it out. I have listed it in the description box and you can also search for it at Nanabis Kitchen on YouTube. Ogri a beautiful ingredient so 25 minutes into the cooking after adding the leaves here is what we have I've taken the lid off and I'm going to let it simmer gently to lose some of that moisture so we can get a thicker consistency how I like it I've also thrown in some scotch bonnet chilies for those of us who love the heat here is my steamed rice we're digging in, friends. It is chop time. <laughs> I love this too. Oh, I'm always so happy when I put this together. It is just a lovely, very tasty dish. You'll love it too. So give it a shot. If you live in the Phoenix metropolitan area here in Arizona, you can find this at Lily's or Mekong. All right. Here it is. I thank you for watching. Make it a great day and have fun, especially thank in that kitchen. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below. And don't forget to share the video as well. Also, watch more videos. 
it is tough time and here in Anaba's kitchen tough time is always yes friends so pull up a chair we are all friends and family here 